Hello folks and welcome Linux Mint 22.1 Plasma though you can get all the packages to install the uh, KDE Plasma 5.27.12 which is not current but uh, more importantly it does offer some bells and whistles and uh, you can have a little bit of fun with the Plasma desktop if you want to test drive it. Um, my preferred is still Cinnamon if I'm trying to pick Linux Mint um, but more importantly, if you just want to test drive this on a separate machine, uh, you can certainly do that and I have the installation procedure for you. Uh, please be aware though that uh, I am filming in 4K and the subscription logo is there. Um, this particular um, upgrade, if you want to call it that, um, or installation, does have Software Manager and also Discover Software Center. Um, the software manager is more native to Linux Mint. And um, KD Plasma does have K Runner running in the background. So if I type in K, console lights up and I can open up console. I'll just give you system information from here using INXI because that comes installed. I'll go to the top. I'll give you some uh, particulars. INXI has tons of options. I'm just using that one. I generally have been using that for years when I do stuff like this. Uh, but this is Plasma 6.8, which is Linux Mint 22.1 Xia. All right, now you can see my CPU is right here and I'm using an AMD graphics card, not NVIDIA. And I am filming in 4K. All right, here's some of the other particulars if you're interested. And um, I do have one drive that it's actually auto mounted. And I have this little icon which I can override the automatic backups and do a backup at any time. Now, when I recommend installing Plasma on a machine, I generally would say you probably want something better than four gigabytes of RAM. Let's put it that way. It is kind of resource heavy. Well, so is cinnamon, but um, but a lot of people may like the Plasma desktop for different reasons. By the way, there's two file managers here. Uh, generally in the past, a lot of mixed feelings about people running two file managers. So Nemo is uh, default to cinnamon. Uh, I'm trying to close that. And there's Dolphin right here also. All right, whichever. So I chose the full version. So I have all these bells and whistles installed. Um, when I get into the installation procedure, you can also pick the middle of the road or you can pick the minimal install. You can see there's quite a few games here and stuff. All right. Right click on your panel, edit. You can change the panel height rather easily. Do the more thing. And um, if you like the auto hide, turn that all on. There's also widgets, <clears throat> plenty of widgets everywhere. Right click, add widgets. They're just little toys if you're unfamiliar with Plasma desktops. And um, the wallpaper, it does have quite a few that comes with this. And uh, I'm just using something half subdued. So it doesn't really overwrite what we're trying to do here. Um, so my, I'll use this file manager. This is an auto mounted drive and I'm using that for this backup. And it generally will, if, as soon as I log out and log in, it'll automatically backup Frank's drive or Frank's home folder. And I can also override that by clicking this icon. I have it set to do this automatically, but I can also override it and do backups at any time. So. This is Frank's home folder, the user for today. And uh, it's actually all of his files, including hidden. So let me move on. This over here has entries. Um, you need to turn them on though, if you're gonna use this. So right click, configure digital clock, go to calendar, Activate your PIM events plugins. You can also do the holidays 
and then click the actual PIM events and then activate them here and then hit apply. Otherwise they won't take properly. Then you can add events. So if I was doing something for the seventh, for instance, and you do add, uh, it just opens up the K organizer and then you can click on the proper date and the time and whatever else you can put that in there. I'll just put in uh, test um, bunch of eights, uh, one hour event, apply, okay, close. Then I can look at my calendar and you can see that event there. All right. So let me go to Linux. This is a web-based icon, and there's a couple of things that are different with this that um, you should be aware. So web apps, if you try to create an Amazon icon for it, or, or Amazon, I'll just use A. So generally in the Cinnamon desktop, um, this would have already found the icon. And when I click that, you can see it finds nothing. So what I did was I downloaded the other icon manually and assigned it. So that's what that is. Now, let's talk about what Linux Mint has on their website. This is Clem's blog if you've never read it. Um, so the Linux Mint 22.2 should be coming out shortly. Um, they have no set date, but they were hoping to get that out by July for the beta or beginning of August. So that is coming for Linux Mint 22. And some people may be interested in this one, fingerprint authentication. And then uh, later on, LMDE 7 will be replacing LMDE 6. So I'm going to go to the download area of linuxmint.com and click all versions. The current desktops that are available for ISOs, Complete Computer Image for Install, is Cinnamon Mate XFCE, current version 22.1. This is also 22.1, but it's Plasma packages. You will see nothing in here about Plasma desktops. This is LMDE6, codename Fay. It's a Cinnamon desktop, Debian-based. Doesn't mean you can't install that. So this desktop did not come off the internet. This came directly from Linux Mint's software stores. I'm gonna open up uh, the software manager and type in KDE. You have the KDE standard, which is the KDE Plasma desktop. Okay, that's what I have installed. There's no screenshot here. And the KDE full, which installs all those toys. So you also have another couple of choices. You can install the bare minimum or you can install middle of the road. So now let's talk about that part of it. I do recommend that you A, either get out your screenshot tool on your current computer. If you're watching this on a computer, get out your digital camera if you're not. Maybe you're watching this on your smart TV. I don't know. But uh, we're just going to have a little fun with Plasma. I still prefer the cinnamon, cinnamon desktop, but that's just me. Um, but more importantly, if you want to try this out, you may actually want to install it on a different machine. Let's see if you like it. Because um, installing something like two desktops um, you know, your login screen, you can switch, but again, I'll leave it up to you. Now, the thing I don't make mention in here is to back up your personal files in case you have them. But if you're doing a fresh install on a new machine, how old is that machine? Remember, um, Plasma desktops take a little horsepower. In other words, uh, extra RAM sometimes and fairly modern hardware to make everything smooth. Otherwise, you're kind of sluggish. The first thing that you probably want to do if you're do doing this from scratch is to install Linux Mint Cinnamon. And again, you can get it directly from Mint. And then do your update. After that, open up the terminal box. On Linux Mint, you can find terminal rather easily. What you're going to do is do a sudo space apt space update and 
put the two and symbols and then space sudo apt upgrade dash y. You're just going to make sure your system is up to date. If you can pause for a second here, I need to, uh, I need to close my door here. Got some noise in the background coming up. Anyways, once you do that successfully in terminal, then we can talk about installing KDE. So that is done with uh, sudo apt install. Of course, super user do is what sudo stands for. So KDE dash full, there are no spaces there, is everything. That's what I have installed. That gets you all the bells and whistles of the games and etc. Let's say you don't want that though. Well, maybe you want the minimal. Well, then you would substitute the KDE dash full with KDE dash plasma desktop. That should give you the minimal stuff. Or you can go in the middle of the road where you can do the KDE dash standard. Do this without the quotes. You just substitute that in here in your terminal box, of course. So it's KDE dash full or KDE dash plasma dash desktop or KDE dash standard. One of the three. So you've got three options. Now, this could take some time depending on your hardware and the age of your computer. I also recommend probably something better than four gigabytes of RAM. And um, another special note in here, during the installation process, you will be asked to pick a display manager. Okay, pay real close attention to this to have success. The Light DM is the default for cinema, but not for plasma. For plasma, it's SDDM. So you want to use that one. After it's all said and done and your prompt returns on your terminal box, then go ahead and reboot the machine. What you're going to find is after the reboot is your login screen will look quite different. So um, I'll come back to this in a second. So pretend this is your login screen. You may see a huge keyboard there on your login screen. You'll also see the flag of whatever you use to install the cinnamon desktop for the keyboard layout, whatever country that was. And then another box next to it where it'll probably say cinnamon on it. Then it has an arrow which you can click and click the drop down and you will find the KDE Plasma X11. Then click that. So if the big old keyboard thing is covering up your username, there is a setting where you can click the keyboard to minimize it and you'll see username and password. You click that and you put in your, your standard username, whatever you created, and then um, the keyboard may pop up, then just type the password. And then, um, or you can type in the username, then hit the tab key, then put in your password. Either way, once you log in successfully, this icon here in the corner is your plasma icon and it'll kind of twirl and do its little song and dance. Once you got that, um, it de normally defaults to your native graphic card screen resolution and monitor. My, in my case, mine is 43 inches and 4K. And I generally have to increase the um, actual percentages. So mine is currently at 200%. Now, when you do this in plasma versus on cinnamon, um, sometimes a reboot is required. All right, so in either case, let's get back to the installation instructions. So you've done the reboot, you found the login, you click the appropriate box to log your and log yourself into the Plasma desktop. Just be aware that when you're in here, you will have your software manager not on your panel. You will have to find it in here. I put it in my favorites, but what you will find is the Discover Software Center. But you can also go just look for it. Just type in soft and you'll see software manager. And then you can add it to your panel. You can also add it to your favorites. Mine says remove because it's already there. And where's that stuff coming from anyways? Well, since you got all your packages from Mint, it is coming from Linux Mint and Ubuntu. That's where the stuff is coming from. Is it perfect? No. Another one is, um, I'm just making mention of this tool called web apps. 
when you trying to find this Amazon icon by creating this, it will not find it. It will in cinema. But you can also assign your own icons. And that's what, how I did this one here. I just downloaded the icon for Amazon. It found Linux Mint okay. I didn't expect anything less, but more importantly, um, I'm going to recreate that for you. Let me unpin this one too. It's not associated with anything anymore. You saw the icon just disappear. So I'll just call it Mint this time. www.linuxmint.com Click that. I should find the icon. And I'm using Firefox without na uh, with navigation bar. And that's just a creation tool. It's now in this category called web. Okay, and then I can put that downstairs. I'll stick it over here somewhere. And then test it. You generally get the privacy notice and get rid of that. And then one more, it'll be the show me thing. That's about the previous tab. So now it's ready to go. All right, in either case, just want you to be aware, there are two file managers, Nemo and Dolphin, two software stores, Software Manager and Discover. Again, I recommend probably you should stick with Software Manager. And um, your updater icon is here. And um, I haven't tried to update anything through the Discover Software Center. You may want to give that a try. But this is, again, Mint does not have the ISO for this, but you can certainly try this out and have a little fun. So um, just be aware, you do have widgets also. I'll just grab the clock over here and drag it over here. And um, you can see what the time is here. And that's pretty much all I have for you, other than the fact that uh, one more time, Go ahead and either use a digital camera to take a picture of this or do a screenshot. But I do recommend if you are going to do this, you do this in order. And then again, you have three choices how you want your KDE desktop. The full version, you've got all the fluff with all the software and games. And uh, you can do the minimal or you can do the standard. Okay. And you should have your Cinnamon desktop. You may see the influence of KDE though on your Cinnamon desktop after you do this. So if you don't want to mix up your current um, go-to installation of Linux Mint, in other words, your daily driver, then you may want to do this on a separate machine. Thank you for watching.